Hey everyone! I've stuck with doing my resin work. I have been working quite hard on getting the sanding technique perfected. That might sand a bit odd, but when I did my last video and I was doing a lot of the sanding, I noticed that I could have had some finer grit sandpaper. So I got online and looked into it and since then I've ordered some and it came today. So I've been playing around with that and I'm going to show you the differences in the sandpapers. So these are the sandpapers, these, are, these two are the sandpapers that I was using. As you can see that's quite rough, that is 120 grit. Then in the video last time I was going up to a 600 grit which is, is very smooth as a sandpaper but it was still leaving quite decent scratches on my pieces of work. So I looked online and I found that you could actually get, because this sandpaper is a very special, it's um, a wet dry sandpaper so that I can put it into the water and it means that it doesn't disintegrate um, like normal sandpaper would. So this is what this is, so I needed to find some that was the same consistency but finer grits, which is what I did. And I managed to get a 1200 grit paper and a 2000 grit, no tell a lie, 2500 grit sandpaper and as you can see it gets so fine, I'm trying to, I'm going to try and give you a close up of these two. So this is the, the two finest sandpapers, this is the 1200 grit paper and you can just about see flecks of, of grit in there and then we go up to the 2500 grit and to be honest to me it actually just looks like painted paper. I am really quite amused that when I'm using this it still sands. As you can see, there is a huge difference in the sandpapers. And I always knew that you could get fine sandpapers, but I thought I had it. I didn't realise sandpaper could go quite so fine. So I'm really impressed that when you're using that 2,500 grit paper in the water, like I was doing the other day, it still produces a resin in the... Or, or, remnant of the resin in the water and it still gets dusty and I still have to change the water out so it's obviously doing something but it's just amusing to me it's so fine. Another reason why I decided to look up and get some even finer sandpaper was because when I was moving over to doing the polishing with the creams there were still quite deep scratches left from the sandpapers so I'm going to show you what I mean by the polishing creams. In my last video you may have noticed that I put some captions saying Novus Stage 3 and Novus Stage 2 polish and this is what they are. There's actually three stages but in general I use the number three and you actually, although it's labelled one, two, three, you use them in this order. You use the heavy scratch remover first so that gets rid of the heavier scratches then you and that's white and then you move on to the fine scratch remover and that is like a beigey coffee colour cream and at this stage the resin piece is actually as shiny as if you'd just poured fresh resin so this does these two on their own do a great job. This one is for cleaning and shining up and it's like an anti-static um, cleanser right at the end. So I do, I do that before I box my pieces up and send them off to people. Hopefully from that you can see that there's a lot of stages to sanding and polishing and what was happening for me is I was using the two coarser sandpapers, the red paper ones, and then I was moving on to the polishing and buffing creams. What was happening is it wasn't getting rid of all the deep scratches. I was polishing it up and I could still see scratches on the surface of the pieces. So yeah, I've searched out some new paper and I am really pleased after working with it today to see that I can get such a brilliant shine 
on the pieces. But yeah, I'm actually staying really focused on this resin work and I'm hoping that by the end of this long bank holiday weekend I'll have a fair few new pieces that I can put up on my Etsy shop. Um, other than that, I will be back again soon with another update.